Let's hear in the comments, what is your favorite grip tape? This week, we've come fully loaded with different versions of grip tape. We have a back foot pad of a XR. So this is this is what is stock on an XR. They have upgraded it a little bit for the GT, a little bit more grippy. But the, the, the sand that's in here that makes the grip is very fine. Last week, I talked about my, my favorite grip tape being the grip tape from Craft & Ride, which is very coarse. You can kind of get a good glimpse of it, how coarse it is just in the light there. I don't know if you can see the difference there. You, this is a very coarse grip tape. Not as, but Bodie's point was it's very stiff. Like it doesn't wobble. It's like if you bend it, it'll crack. Well, with the two that you have in front of you, will you give your thoughts as you're holding up the two? I have four in front of me. Yeah, so you're going to, nope, hold up these two, this stock and the one you have in your hand already. Okay. Okay, what, what what do you notice from the difference? One yours has water on it. Yeah, it does. Okay. What's one of the differences in the grip tape, just in the um, feel? Um, This one is more raised. Okay. So it just has, to me, what seems like it would be more grip. Um, this one just feels more sandy. Okay. Okay. What we have loved about the Craft & Ride grip tape is in the snow, it doesn't, it doesn't get compact on there. You can beat it off, knock it off really easily. But Bodhi talked about how stiff it is. So they did research on this. A lot of people complain about the Craft and Rides that they have sensor problems because of how stiff it is. It doesn't activate. Now, I've not had any of these problems on my boards yet, but maybe I haven't. I'm not noting it. I've just blamed it on the XR sensor. This is a very stiff we have Craft and Rides grip tape here, and you'll immediately see the difference. I pick it up. Yikes! Whoa. That was the my foot pad. That was dropping. not a helmet. Okay, but now look at how just in the bend, this one very holding it in the same spot. This is gonna crack if I keep letting it. This is very, very uh, flexible. Flexible. Thank Foldy. you. Thank you. Uh, it, it, but the grip on it, I've not rode this. The grip on here feels very nice. This is for the GT. I'm stoked to try this. It could replace this, but I don't know yet. Based on that stiffness, this might be my new go-to. So, Float Life, thank you for making something as as coarse as this. We, we won't really but know flexible. until winter. But flexible. Um, course, but you flexible. were asked earlier in the chat, Do you are you still writing the foam grip tape that you had put on? Do you like it? The, have we you? have the foamies right here. The one that smells good. Yeah, the, it smells great. Someone else just made that comment. New grip tape smells good. <laughs> yeah, but this is like foam grip yeah, tape. Yeah, this is. Okay, the, these are wonderful, and they do help in foot fatigue and make your ride so much more like you're floating, okay? They are everything you'd hope that foam would be. They've even lacerated would be my best way to put groove in here so you have a little bit more traction, but it's nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. to where Near this grip, grip tape though. is. You lose the grip here, but the comfortability you gain here. So, like, when you play a video game and you got to choose between, especially a racing game, speed or torque or speed or takeoff, right? you got to sacrifice something. With the, with the foam, you're sacrificing a little bit of the grip. This, you're getting ultimate grip, but you're sacrificing comfort because it's just, it is what it is. You're on a hard wooden thing. This Gives you comfort. Lily, remember when we did the review a couple weeks ago on the Enduro tire, which you offended Bodie last week on how you don't like it, but I, I didn't offend him. He was pretty, he was like, I can't believe she doesn't like it. We can ask him. He said it. You Did you go back and watch the footage after you walked out? He's like, even though she won't, she doesn't like our of the Enduro. She's like, he's like everybody's choices. Anyways. Um, I'm sure if I, I didn't like the WTF rails at first and I love them now. So the next time I try the Enduro, I'm sure I'll like it more. Okay, we'll find out. Okay. Uh, somebody's writing in here. What did somebody just say? Ben says, I really like the TFL, but it's harder to reposition your feet compared to the Craft and Ride. Oh, that's fair to know. I've not, I've not tested that part out. Mm. That would be interesting to feel. I still feel from the any of these coarser ones from the stock, very hard to reposition your feet on the move because you can't – but I like that. I like when I'm going through the trails and stuff that my feet are staying to the Someone board. Someone wants to know if you can put grip on the foam. 
That's you, a good question. That it's is like a fair question. I know that you can take the pad. foam and put it on the grip tape. I don't know how long the life expectancy of the foam on that is, but you can do that. This the foam really eliminates that hard edge as well on the side of your GTs. That 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 there, there's just this lip which gives this concaveness three ways on your foot pad, which is such a delight. But this eliminates that that ridge there, which is another welcome feature. But if I'm a trail guy, which I am, I like being on the trail, I'm probably moved more to 75% trails and 25% asphalt. This is great for street riding. You is, just, it, is the point of that for comfort? Is that what, or, I mean, it's not meant to be grippy, right? Like... Right. It is meant to be comfortable and eliminate the ridge on the edges of your one wheel GT. So if you hate the feel of that edge on your back and front foot pad, this is your solution. Right now, this is going to be a very quick fit, great company, great group of people making some really cool products. I mean, they've really thought it out. I, I, if I didn't ride in my dusty trails and get mud all over it, I would have left these on. But I went back to the the grip tape because I enjoy being able to just rinse it off but have bite when it's a little bit muddier. But Lily liked the foot pad on, foot pad on the WTF rails. We have the gel technology from Craft & Ride on the back of that. And what was one of the things you immediately said about that? You thought it was the tire, but what did you immediately experience on the WTF with that back foot pad? Just comfort. It took right? away, like, the shocks, right? Yeah, it took away the shocks. I was, like, super comfortable, really, like, floaty and less rigid. So, yeah, if it was meant to help take away the shock, it did its job. <laughs> so there, she, she struggled with comparing the tires together because the ride has a slight bit more comfortable ride to it. Again, that's for a, a XR. You can go to craftandride.com and get that. But comfort is, to a lot of people, a big deal. So you'd want this foot pad sometimes you want to be able to just stick on your board because you want to land the trick now speaking of tricks too grippy of a grip pad or a grip tape and you're going to struggle to move your feet around as you need to adjust your feet to land a different kind of trick so keep in mind maybe super grippy grip tape isn't what you actually want you want a slightly slightly less coarse back foot pad or grip tape so there's a lot of options out there. There's even other more foam things out there. I've just found the foam doesn't hold up as well in snow either because the snow just compacts to it very quickly mm -hmm. and you can't knock it off because the foam gets wet, then freezes and holds the snow. Those are some of our, our thoughts in there. There's some of the more tips, again, as you're busting into your new one wheel and you're riding out there and you've got a couple thousand miles on your board, it's time to change your grip tape. I would suggest... Let's ask the ladies here. We'll start with Holly, mm. our most seasoned, still newbie writer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how often do you think you change grip tape, Hal? How often? Yeah, how often? You have changed my grip tape on my one wheel multiple times. <laughs> but no, I'm asking how many times do you think you would um, suggest? I think that's probably going to be preference of, like you said, if you are into doing some tricks or the trail riding and it's grippy and you want that grippiness to keep you on the board better, as soon as you lose that, change it out because if you get through a season here in minnesota if you're going through a season of the wet the rain the snow all of that you're going to go through it faster so i'd probably say you need a new set by spring but if you live in florida or something you may not experience some of the harsher weather so it's probably based on on personal preference okay it, 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 it she said it quite well if you lose grippiness change it but the, i would i would suggest about 500 miles, depending on how, what you're riding in, it really, once a year, change out your grip tape. You you sometimes don't even know you need new grip tape. you just gotten used to the pathetic grip tape that's still sitting on your one wheel and you haven't changed it out yet. Change it out. You will, you'll be reminded of what fresh grip tape feels like, and fresh grip tape is amazing. Thank you. I do want to say a big thanks to everybody that watches every week on our YouTube channel, our podcast, or you listen to it. Without you, what would be the point? It would be just us hanging out in here doing nothing. Subscribe to the channel as we try to pump out as much one-wheel content.